Hello and welcome back to another video with Draco and today I'm going to show you how to have this awesome background Well not really background, it's just a mug kit background No, I'm going to show you how to have all these awesome gadget thingies on your screen Which are actually interactive Shows you the time, you probably can't see that then You can see it makes I can't explain that. Why did that happen? Oh, where? Okay, wait. Well, unload that. Um, that's a glitch. I don't know how to properly use it anymore at the moment. But, uh, if you want this awesome overlay of your background and stuff, here is the place to learn how. Okay, first of all, go into Google. Search up rain meter, and yes, rain meter is an awesome thing. Sorry, I have pretty bad internet at the moment. And click on the first one that should come up, and click download. Um, of course, you click download. So once you've downloaded it, it should be. Where is it? As rain meter two point something R something something beta. I've got two because I tried to download twice myself. Uh so you go ahead, run that, go standard install, so on. I'll cancel out of that. Because I don't need to install it twice. So that will give you the, the basic stuff on your screen, which you can, if you want, um, but yeah, let me just check if my audio, yes, my audio is working, um, so, if you want to have the stuff I have, uh, how it looks a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit better, um, why does that work, um, so, Oh, my sis got me off track. So what you have to do is Enigma, I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's click on that. And it should be very easy. You can just click install Enigma. Um, and it should install the custom skin which I can just look up if I go rain meter manage and it should be as Enigma and also the active skins are also there so it just it will be an installer just click OK OK and just OK again and then it should come up with all these sidebars and the bottom bar with all this random stuff which you can edit completely like I've made this disappear so I can access my recycle bin when I hover over it stuff like that you can also if you want to make if you want a logo skin click on there go Enigma and uh, sidebar or whatever and you can choose to load, say, another note up. Now where did that note go? That was not the best example. Ah. Okay, let's just go back into Enigma and go sidebar 2, or sidebar 1, and that will open up this on the side. So that's where the task was. So, you can fully just customize and just... I'm sorry, since there's no music, my um, headset turns off, but it pretty much automatically jolts itself. So if you want it there, you can have it there, but not for my background. My background's too white to, ha to handle that stuff. If you want to unload the skin, if you don't want it there, just click unload skin. It will go away, there's nothing there anymore. Um, if you want to add stuff, I just showed you how. 
go Enigma and voila. Sometimes you can get variants of it, um, sometimes you cannot. Also, remember if you have it to hide on mouse over, it's going to be harder for you to actually get the Enigma settings. But there's always all this other stuff as well. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And yeah, leave it a like if you actually got awesome backgrounds. You can even share a video with me to see. It's show me all your awesome backgrounds that you have pretty much made with Enigma or Rain Meter, which would be a nice thing. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.